guys, I'm Josh from Invicta Magazine and I'm here to review the new Nova Raptor album, Marine Snow. But before we start, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons and follow us on social media. After leaving Swedish post-metal outfit The Moth Gatherer in 2018, Alex Stienfeld formed Nova Raptor and the collective has managed to quickly envelop all corners of the Swedish underground rock and metal community. The concept Steinfeld had was to create four records around the principal elements of fire, water, air and earth, starting with the 2019 debut Disillusioned Fire. An emotionally raw record with impressive scope and craft saw guest vocal slots on all tracks, including Swedish metal royalty Mikael Stana from Dark Tranquility, among others. Now on the water part of the concept, Marine Snow carries on the format laid out by Disillusioned Fire with a different vocalist on each song, bringing their own unique flavour to the mix. In the hands of a lesser artist, it would be easy for a concept like this to feel more akin to a playlist without that consistent vocal anchor to add an immediately recognisable stamp. The fact then that Marine Snow somehow manages to sound not only more unique with multiple voices, but more complete and recognisable is testament to just how much of a creative triumph the record actually is. Opening notes of lead single Broken Blue Cascades shows an increased level of dynamism from its predecessor. Even just in the opening seconds, with echoed effects and distorted wave washing backdrop. The build up is ethereal with Josh Graham, former Red Sparrows in A Storm of Light, adding to the atmosphere with his shamanistic vocal delivery that carries on after the levee breaks and the track hits you with a classic post metal wall of sound driven by the bass and a marching beat behind it that ramps up that trance-like state. The production threatens to swallow Graham's vocal, but in an effective way, giving the feeling of the human voice being drowned out by the noise above it, before they lead the track out again with the haunting refrain of, I thought we were living, but we were waiting for death. I thought we were breathing, but we're all out of breath. Every Shade of Water follows it up with a beautiful melodious guitar passage before the Cult of Luna-esque discord and bass slide brings in the rest of the instrumentation into stunning effect. The vocal duet between Leah Amling and Robert Lamu is inspired, with a main vocal giving a focal point and one providing a spiritual chanting backdrop that adds immense weight to the song. The riffs more than hold their own when put up against some of the very best in the genre and are amplified with the outstanding rhythm arrangement between them. Trieste is punctuated with sharp synth blasts that give the effect of radar bleeping from the iconic submarine of the same name, as well as another haunting vocal from former Ghost alumnus Martin Persner. The rhythmic riffing and drumming again have lots of roots in the classic Cult of Luna mid-career era, however there is no one other than Umir's finest that are doing it to the quality of Nova Raptor here. While the album has had its heavy moments, No Constellation is the first case of growled vocals on the record, courtesy of Inter Armour's Mike Paparo. Doomy, dark and restless, the track slumps through like the hulking of a giant beast, adding a feeling of monolithic menace. The track dips off into beautiful guitar pick bars before rumbling drums and Paparo's stunning vocals smash straight through again and again. Even with the level of quality that Marine Snow offers throughout its relatively short 36 minute runtime, they somehow managed to save the best for last. 11 degrees 22.4 north, 142 degrees 35.5 east, rises and falls with immense restraint, knowing exactly when to pull the trigger on moments that will metaphorically light fires in the heart and just as gracefully pull back when needed. Even with all the masterful vocal performances, it's that of Greenleaf's Arvid Halagard that steals the show. Soulful and ethereal, the timbre of his voice and the genuine passion that hangs on his every word elevates a song way beyond it could have been if in the lap of someone else. Even during the rapid blast beat section, Arvid's vocal provides that lighthouse focal point, soaring over the melee triumphantly before the album finishes with the return of distorted wave washing effect from the opening. There are bands that can go entire careers not being able to craft anything close to the quality of Marine Snow, and even those acts that are heralded as the elites in the genre should be looking over their shoulders. Emotional and intense, but layered with fragility, Marine Snow is expertly crafted to create a most exquisite sonic palette with a stellar cast of characters and a world-class conductor that has arranged it all into something truly magnificent. We at Invicta score this album 
a whopping 9.5 with Album of the Year contender status. To hear this album for yourself, search for Nova Rupter on social media or head over to www.invictamagazine.com that's www.invictamagazine.com to read the review for yourself. I've been Josh from Invicta Magazine. Thanks very much for tuning in.